In today's video, there will be two parts. The first part will be how I bait the squirrels. The second part will be showing a squirrel playing hide and seek with me. It's really hard to catch this squirrel. Let's begin. So what you see here is a container, a bird seat from Walmart. Five, six dollars. Works fairly good. Uh, you want some bird seeds, you want some nuts. You don't want just nuts by itself because bird seeds actually help to attract birds. They give a full sense of safety for the squirrels. And here shows the location where I place them. Also, I like the birds. Uh, hear the bird sounds and all that stuff. So, I Mix a little bit of each uh, peanuts with the shells really helps the squirrel to stay still because they constantly moving around. But of course, too much bird seeds will attract rats, and obviously, rats attract snakes and rattlesnakes. So so far, I already killed about two snakes on the property. So less bird seeds, the better. Part two of this video. It's hide and seek. This particular squirrel I've been tracking for a few days. This is a day one. It's actually the first squirrel that hide in that location. In that crack between the concrete sidewalk. Not just eating the nuts, we put it down. Then prepare to shoot. The squirrel saw the green laser and hide. So I waited for a few minutes. It comes out. ready to shoot again and saw the green laser and ran again a few hours later here's the squirrel let's see if I can open the windows if you notice a few hours later the squirrel is looking at me you can see me opening the window is the hardest part they can hear the window Try to end again. So you can get this girl. This new camera set up. Do it set up. And I miss horribly. Slow motion you can see. The bullet went to the left shoulder. About half inch. Just by the concrete sidewalk where you see the smoke. Right there. That'll be the first time I tried to shoot this particular squirrel. Come on. I think that was a miss. I believe that was a miss. I'm hiding the green dot. Right now. Later on cut, I'll edit the video. There's a bird. But I believe the squirrel went back to his den right there. The entire time, the squirrel was just staring at me. I did not see it. Now I can take it out. Off the camera, the squirrel already saw the green dot. Take her out. Just looking at me. Now I hide again. Damn it. Two hours later. Cute little thing, stay there. Looking at me to see what I hit her. See how far this is. He knows me right here. 
see if I can take her head out. I believe he knows the laser. He's seen the laser. I see the laser. He got down. So because he knows, you see the squirrel, let me zoom in, he knows the green laser, so I'm going to try to hit him without the laser, let's see how it goes, ready, set, New camera setup, shake too much after recoil, so it's impossible to see where the bullet goes. It's a horrible setup. I gotta change to something else back to or can tell if I hit him. I think I might. Most likely I did. Or I went back to my old camera setup, which is not mounted on the gun. He's very cautious. Last time I did not kill him. He's very, very cautious. Let's see if we can kill him without using the laser. Moving my stuff close there. And let's see. One, two, three. Get to the head, see the palette, right through the eyes. So it didn't really work, so I went back to my old camera, which is not mounted on the gun, put on the side, so we can get more slow footage like this. Thanks for watching. See you next time.